All right, welcome to our next 30 minute workout. Today we're gonna do another superset day. So we're gonna do back and biceps. So we're gonna isolate more of that upper body. So we're gonna go pull down, superseted with bicep curl. And then our next two are gonna be the T-bar, chest supported row and cable hammer curls. And then we're gonna finish off with a little bit of rowing at the end. So for the lap pull down machine, do a warm up set again where you're just gonna kind of get some blood pumping into that back. And then you're gonna add your weights to the horns here. So today we're putting on 25s. And then you're gonna adjust this so that it is onto your legs. So just pull this guy out till it hits down to those legs, wait till it snaps, and then you're locked in. From here, you're gonna come up, grab your handles. You have a couple options for grip. So you can either go underhand or wide overhand, whatever works best for you. Today we're gonna do underhand. So bring those knees under, head and chest up, stays nice and tall. So we're gonna lean back slightly and focus on pulling with our back. So we're gonna pull those down, squeezing our shoulder blades together as we're pulling through that back, nice and in control. So thinking, controlling it on the way down and the way up. Focus on getting a nice pull into that back. Again, we're going for about 12 to 15 reps. Make sure you're breathing. So as it comes back down, you're exhaling. As you're pulling down, you're exhaling. So exhale as you pull down. <sighs> Inhale as you pull up. <sighs> or as you let it up. And then after 12 to 15, you're gonna go right into bicep curls. So for the bicep curl, we already set up the easy curl bar. We put tens on each side. This bar is nice because it puts your hands into a nice neutral grip. So it makes it easier on the joints. From there, we're just gonna step back. Feet shoulder width apart, head and chest up, shoulders back. We're just gonna curl that bar up. Again, controlling it on the way down. You won't wanna overextend your elbows, so you're gonna keep a little bit of bend in that arm. So once this hits your knees, you're in the perfect position. Bending it back up, or just above the knee, right into that thigh. And then you're just gonna curl it up, let it come back down, curl it up. Again, going for 12 to 15 reps. Again, focusing on that breath. So you're exhaling as it comes up, inhaling as it comes down. And it should be challenging. So the last two or three should be difficult. You can even have a little bit of spit fly from your mouth. That's how you know you're getting the effort in. So again, we're gonna do three sets of that. So after your super set, take about 30 seconds break and then go back into your second set. But with these 30 minute workouts, we want you going through them quickly so that you get that cardio aspect as well. So that's your first super set. All right, we're moving into our second super set. So for a second super set, we're gonna go chest supported row with the 45 degree angle. So this is called the lever row. So that's what we're gonna use. And then we're gonna superset it with hammer curl using the rope and cable machine. So for this one, you wanna adjust it so that the height is perfect. So the foot placement is what you adjust to get your height right. So you just wanna make sure that your chest is supported as you're going. So I'm gonna raise it up one. There we go. So that you can get the most out of it. So you want it to be basically have this supporting right at your chest height. From there, the handles also adjust wide or narrow. We're gonna go a little bit wider today. So from here, you're just gonna grab the handles. You're gonna pull it off the safety and you're just gonna let it dangle down again. We're keeping that back nice and flat. So you're gonna pull those shoulder blades back as we pull this up. From here, we're gonna try to keep our chest onto the bench as we're squeezing again those shoulder blades together. So this one's gonna hit a little bit more into that mid to lower back and into the traps. Again, we're gonna go for 12 to 15 reps. Breathing with each one. After you're done, you're just gonna set it onto the safeties. And then depending on the difficulty, you can add or take off weight. So you just add weights onto the horns here. After that, we're gonna superset it into bicep hammer curl using that rope. So again, we're gonna grab the rope. With this one, if you stand too close, there's gonna be too much slack. So just take half step backwards till there's a little bit of tension onto the cable. Again, pulling those shoulders back, nice and tall, and you're just gonna curl those arms up. Again, trying to get that good squeeze into the bicep. So nice and tall, pulling it right back up, down in control. So again, pull it back so you can get full extension into that arm, curling it up having to come back down. Again, we're going for 12, focusing on control, not letting the weights 
jerk. So you want to be in control of them the whole time. Control it up and on the way down. Again, after 12 to 15, we'll take a 30 second break and you'll go right back to that T-bar row, supersetting with that. Three times you want to do about 12 to 15 reps on each one. Next, we'll finish off with cardio finisher. All right, for our five minutes of cardio finisher, we're gonna finish off on the rower. So for the rower, first step, sit onto the seat, find a comfortable location, and we're gonna put our feet into the cradles. Actually, before that, we're gonna do the screen so that you don't have to stretch your hamstrings as you're using the screen. So there's numbers on the edge, so that's how you adjust the tension. So normally what we recommend, most people start out as five. Anything lower than that, it's really easy. So if you're finding this is easy, you can bump it up all the way to 10 and that's just gonna add more resistance to the chain as you're pulling. From here, you're gonna turn the screen on. So you just hit menu to start. From here, you're gonna get a bunch of different options. We're gonna select a workout. So we're gonna push select workout, and then we're gonna hit custom list. From there, it has a 30 second on, 30 second rest interval. That's the option we're gonna choose. So today we're gonna do five rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. Once you hit that, as soon as you start rowing, that's when the counter or the clock will start. So you don't have to start yet. So from when you're sitting on here, you're gonna put your feet in. So basically you want this handle to be adjusted right around like the end of your laces or your foot. So different people like it at different spots. If you need to adjust this higher, then you just pull this out to make it shorter or taller. Just make sure both sides are the same. You're gonna put your feet into here and then just adjust the straps so it's tight. When you're rowing, you wanna focus on having really good posture. So again, our head and chest is up nice and tall. We're not hunched over as we're rowing. So our chest is up nice and tall, back's nice and flat. From here, we're gonna grab the handle. As soon as you start rowing, that is when your time will start. So from here, I want you to think about driving back with your legs as you're pulling with your arms. So it's gonna be a whole body experience. So as we're pulling back, you wanna get this to reach forward so that's gonna give you as much pull as you can as you're rowing. So you're pulling it with this back, just like we did with the row, we're squeezing those shoulder blades together, but that back staying nice and flat. As you come forward, you're driving back with your legs as you're pulling with the arms. So that's gonna create the most amount of power. So we're gonna go 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds is up, it's gonna give you 30 seconds of rest. Just to keep the body moving, we're just gonna go still slow during that rest time. So we're not gonna stop completely. We're gonna just keep that body moving. After again, that 15 seconds, or that 30 seconds of rest is over, then you're gonna go back into that speed, driving with your legs and arms, focusing on staying nice and tall, nice and upright, using both our legs and our upper body. Getting that good squeeze in that back, always keeping those shoulders down and back. So that's how you're gonna create the most amount of power. Once you're done, set that back into the holster, loosen the feet, and you're all done. Just grab a wipe, wipe off the chair, wipe off the screen, wipe off the handles, and your 30 minute workout is complete. Come into the gym in the north, try it out today. We'll see you in the gym.